It is a coast life legend. Now 50 years old, two men abducted by aliens while fishing on the Pascagoula River. Those two men, Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker, have now passed away. Parker dying just two months ago, but the legend lives on. I wasn't there. I don't know, but something happened. It happened here in Pascagoula, October 11th, 1973. Exactly what happened on the Pascagoula River is still being debated around town. Piques your curiosity and you kind of want to know, is it true or is there really something out there? Do I believe they're just coming and picking random people up in the middle of the night? No, not really. As a child, Rebecca Davis first heard about what's now called the best documented case of alien abduction. I just remember my friend's dad putting aluminum foil in the windows and that intrigued me. And so I asked him why he was doing it and he said, so the aliens can't get to our brains. Rebecca then went home and asked her grandparents about it. What's going on? What about this UFO? And I got told, hush child, we don't talk about that. And she didn't talk about it until many years later when Rebecca was cleaning out her grandparents' house and found these newspaper clippings. So there is the old Pascagoula River drawbridge. Also staying silent for decades, Calvin Parker. He didn't talk publicly about it until 2018 when he released a book, The Closest Encounter. We got abducted, took a board, we got an examination, <laughs> and then we got put back out. He later wrote another book, and with the encouragement of Rebecca, over the next five years, Calvin told his story to whoever would listen. He did not have a lack for not talking. The man could talk. I think he hungered for that human acceptance. A historical marker now overlooks the site of the alleged abduction. With Main Street Pascagoula, Rebecca led the way for the placement of the landmark. She also organized the start of what's now an annual community celebration of the story every October. The community embraced him and he needed that. He needed some closure to a part of his life that he left. You can't tell that story that many times and not embellish it. Parker and Hickson first told their story at the Jackson County Sheriff's Department and their accounts were recorded. I'm, I'm just crying right now. I can't tell. From the time of those recordings until their deaths, the story stayed the same. I just don't know how you can make up things that are in these books and the detail that they're in. and That would take way more than some imagination. They weren't human beings, I know. Charles that. Hickson and Calvin Parker may not be around anymore to tell their story, but that doesn't mean the conversation will stop. I don't think his story will ever die. I don't. Um, I got chill bumps. Okay, Mr. Calvin, stop it. Exactly what happened on the Pascagoula River 50 years ago may always be a mystery, but the legend is a convincing one for Rebecca Davis. Believe it or not, but I choose just to believe. All right, so the choice is yours, whether you believe it or not. And uh, the annual uh, Closest Encounter celebration is coming up this Friday night from 6 to 9 in downtown Pascagoula. Yeah, a lot to do there, I bet. Yeah, they sure will. They're inviting people to dress in alien costumes. They'll also have alien uh, different figures out there. And also, Rebecca is working to build a statue next to the river where the historical marker is now. Did she mention what the statue will be of? Well, her idea is to have it a statue some way of the two men uh, out there. It could be in a boat in some way, uh, but that is the idea to basically memorialize the two men out yeah. there. Our story lives on through yeah, the statue. Yeah, it sure does, yeah.